What the heck? It's a coconut. <laughs> Look at her hair. <laughs> Hi, well, today we are at Captain's Treasures, and we decided to come back because today is household is 50% off. So I'm hoping my um, cabinet is still in there. Let's get inside and see what we can find to resell. That's so nice out. Uh, my cabinet is gone. <laughs> I should have grabbed it when it was still here. Let me see if it's over here. No. I do like that rocking chair, though. Franklin Mint Collector's Study Personal Seal. So you melt the wax and oh, stand that's kind of cool. Oh. The BM 250. There's a Jim Shore. That'd be $6. I think it's Jim Shore. No, it's not. Yeah, that is Jim Shore design. It's a music box. Ooh, I don't see any damage. Ooh, I'm gonna get that. Let's see if there's anything else. Um, I like this, but I wish it wasn't clear. I'm gonna try not to show everybody the same stuff because it was only about three days ago since I was here. Oh, look at this bear. <laughs> and what about this one back here? Ooh, it's heavy. It's a music box, too. Um, that'd be $6. We got this soccer bear. It's a resin made in China. All right, so Michael was looking up the Hummel Nun. $15.99. They want forty dollars, but then half off. Yes, yeah, so it'd be twenty, so we can't get that. Darn it! Look at this Indian head box. It has um beadwork. Um, is that a bank? Yeah, I think it is. It's hand carved, and it's only two fifty. So I'm gonna get that. All right, Michael. I love it. I like the beadwork on it. That goes in the cart. What about this box right here? At first I thought it was plastic. <clears throat> the lid is plastic. This is Avon. <laughs> Beauty dust. I don't know, I kind of like it though. It'd be a dollar fifty. What about this pottery mug? Um, that's just a uh, mass produced. I'm not seeing anything in the mugs. Now, what about these cute little mice? Oh, look at that. Charming Tales. Ooh, five dollars. Um, and then you have the camera with the ladybug in the lens. I kind of like that one. I'm not sure how much the Charming Tales sell for. But look at this basket with a rose. It's definitely different. That'd be two fifty. That. Oh, that's kind of neat. Look, it opens up, Michael. It has a etch design. All right, this is only a dollar fifty. I'm gonna get that. I'm not. I'm not gonna get that though. That doesn't go with it. <laughs> that stays there. Put this in the cart. Um, this pottery. Me for Yankee Candle. Oh, look at this pig mug. <laughs> it's Pioneer Woman. <laughs> I thought it was your reflection. Jeez. <laughs> is that um, Anchor Hacking? I think that, that is. Like it. Oh, you have the whole set. Have little, little bug bees. Oh. Twelve dollars for the set, so it'd be six. Um, I don't see too much value in it though. No. Ooh, look at these chickens. You have the um the timer 
for 50 cents. I kind of like that. What are these used for? Eggs? Are they egg cups? That's what it looks like. Um, they would be two dollars. Wait, that would be a dollar for a set of four. Jeez. <sighs> Michael, what are you looking at? Some pottery. Oh, that's this huge. Last time? No, that wasn't. Oh, it's heavy. Uh, what does that say? Made in USA. John, John something. Ceramics. Something. John is it? Taylor Ceramics. Oh, let's look that up. Okay. Set is large and heavy. Oh, what is that on the pear? Oh, it's a pear. I think. So we could probably get um about sixty dollars for this, but with a crack, it would be less. So it's not really worth picking up. Um, this is very large and heavy, so the shipping will be high. Hey, I was looking at that last time. I like that. <laughs> Temptations, but I like yeah, it. I don't, it's not really a. I absolutely love this pattern. Um, it's supposed to have a top though, so yeah, it's not really worth picking up unless you want to use it as a decoration in your kitchen. Um, what about this? It's a little bit newer, made in India, so that's different. It's not China. Whoops! Oh, it says set for five dollars. What the heck? It's a coconut. <laughs> Look at her hair. <laughs> and what do we have here? Alessi, that's Italian. For a dollar fifty. I think I'll get that. I, want this. Yeah. I feel like that might be like a twenty to thirty dollar item. I would get these if I had a like a beach house. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Let me see who made them. Habitat Americana. Maybe we should look that up. <laughs> Hand painted pear. Yeah. Christmas tree shop. All right, so I found that this wooden um, salad set. It is signed on the bottom. John McLeod Designs. It's fifteen dollars. It'll be half off, so I'm gonna get this. It's a little bit large, but. I feel like I could get some good money for the larger bowl. I might sell them separately. Let me go show Michael. All right, we decided to stop at Salvation Army in Latham. They always have something here. Let me get my trusty little cart. <laughs> All right, I see some new tubs. Ooh, let's dig through some Christmas. Nothing is popping out. Let me go in here. Piece of wood. Okay, nothing in there. What about this fancy man? $10. <laughs> Not sure about that. Is there anything in here? Let's take a look. Down here they got the music playing. Whoops, I see a... Is that Port Marion? Serving dish? No, no it's not. It has a white rose on it though. Okay. Man, they have tubs everywhere. What is that? Curtain? I'm gonna go to the hard goods. We always find something over here. Look at this pink bowl. I was gonna say depression glass at I first. Hmm. I don't know who made that. I do like it though. Not for four dollars. <laughs> Of the Mississippi mud, black and tan beer. Let me see about this sunflower bowl, essential home. Oh, we saw the um, platter in 
one of the tubs. Okay, so far, not really seeing anything. What about these? I don't see any markings. I do kind of like this. Um, it's a resin. Oh, look how pretty that is. I like it that the uh, um, windows are cut out in all the detail. I'm just not sure who made it. Um, there's a crack in it. <gasps> Look at these kissing boy and girl. C9075. Um, a lot of, is that paint missing or that's just the way it is? $4 each. Two ninety nine and then three ninety nine. All right, I'm gonna leave that. All right, there. That's Michael's shoes. This <laughs> wouldn't even fit my feet. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see if that's Waterford. I don't see any markings. Oh, what's that? A saucer. Oh, it's just a saucer. It's not marked. It looks old. Yeah, it definitely is. Is that uranium glass? Nope, it's plastic. What about these candle holders? Vermont wood specialties. Ooh. Oh, slid right out of my hand. Um, I think I'll get a price on these. What do you think, Michael? Um, Vermont wood specialties. Hmm. That would be a good booth. I'm gonna leave it with a chip. I always like these wooden coasters. Wow, look at that. They were definitely used. Looks like old milk. And there's always one missing. <laughs> Every time I find those, there's always one. It's a fancy martini glass. This bolt down here looks like it'd be Royal Hager. No, it's not. Home Essentials and Beyond. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Royal Hager made something like this, a leaf bowl. What about this red up here, Mayfair and Jackson. A lot of crazy. Look at it. Is that French? I already see damage on one. Francais William Sonoma. Hmm. Let me look that up. All right, so this one sells for about 30, and I couldn't really find anything on this. There's no price on it. All right, so we didn't find anything at that Salvation Army, which happens, but it's okay. So I figured I would come back home and show everybody some items that we got at an auction and goodwill a few a few of these items you already seen um so i'm gonna let me start out with this art glass and this polish pottery um bowl that i found at a state sale we're doing these two as a auction on our ebay store um this one i absolutely love i love polish pottery this one has the daisies with the green and the blue, the color contrast, it all blends good together. So that's starting at $8 bidding. And then this I'm doing again. It didn't sell last time, but I was like, what the heck? I might as well do it again. That's starting at $6 for a little art class votive or vase. Let me put those aside. If it doesn't sell, I may keep that. I do like that. All right. Um... And then this is a Fenton Daisy and Button Amber Glass hat, top hat, toothpick holder, or you could put a little plant in there, or a little tea light. Is that a chip? Okay, no, it's not. It's part of a Daisy Button. Um, but I'm listing that tonight. I feel like I'm going to list it for about 8 to $10, and that should be first class. Next is these we were saving for 
our live sale with Avon Thrifty Rich and they didn't sell. So I figured I'd just put it on eBay. These are made by Viking, made in Japan, pottery, owl, salt and pepper shakers. I believe we have them listed for over $20 or best offer, which we always do best offer on all of our items. Um, ooh, let's go over here. This cigarette set. Um, this is Clasine China. I absolutely love the blue on this. So you have this design right here. That's what I like most about it, actually. And it's on the ashtray. So this is the tobacco jar. And then you have the matchbox. I don't know if this is original, though. I wonder if somebody just put that in. But look how many times it was used. And the ashtray. That's made in China. That has a design on the back, or the bottom. A little bit of damage. We spent twenty dollars at twenty. Spent twenty dollars at Goodwill. Um, this, I believe, is made in the nineteen late early nineteen hundreds. I'm guessing more nineteen twenties. Only because the Matchbox. I believe we have it listed for over one hundred dollars. I th actually think about two hundred, only because it's a set. Um, I don't know if that's too high. Let me know in the comments if you think that is. Because I don't know too much about Kalazane. I know if you see just China, um, it's definitely older. I'm thinking antique. If it says made in China, that's newer. Let me put those aside. Now these two, funky sugar and creamer with a mushroom. That is made by Arner's probably 1970s, I want to guess, but there is some chipping, and this is missing a lid. But look at the handles. It's a mushroom handle. <laughs> um, but I thought this would look awesome during the summertime, putting a plant inside of them. Succulents, or what are those, um, those little green plants? It kind of looks like a three-leaf or four-leaf clover has a lot of veins. I can't remember. But I thought that would look awesome in that. It would go good with the colors. So I'm going to list those. I believe they sell for, even without a lid, I think over $20. All right, then at Salvation Army, me and Michael found this coffee grinder. It says Caffey for $2.99. It's in awesome condition. Have the draw. And then let me show you the mark in the bottom. I'm not sure how much I'm going to list it yet. We got this about a week ago and it's still not listed. And we found these um, wall candle holders at Goodwill for $4 each. They are signed. I believe this is Mexican. I'm not totally positive. If anybody knows what that says. Michael did a little bit of research and he said um, Mexican. But look at all the details. It's definitely hand painted and it was used. This is another thing I wanted to keep, but I gotta make money. <laughs> Let me put those aside. Oh, and these two yellow elephants. I can't figure out who made them. It's driving me nuts. I may just list it like that. It almost looks like it would be McCoy. I mean, a little bit of damage and crazing. It's definitely older. But if anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Now, these two antique swung vases. This is um, carnival glass made by Fenton. This is the amethyst. You can see it through the light. See it through the light. Okay. Now, I believe this pattern is called Long thumbprint. We have that listed for $42. You can't go wrong with a swung vase. Uh, Michael got this at an auction with other items. Really cheap too. And for some reason, I actually like short, fat swung vases. I don't know why. I like the fatter ones better. 
Um, but this is long thumbprint pattern. It's ribbed. And that's the amethyst. Um, a little bit of wear right there. There's no chips or cracks, though. Those two can actually go together, even though that one is ribbed. And then we have this art glass. I showed everybody this in a different video. I can't figure out the signature. Let me get closer. There we go. No idea. I just read um, 1995. But it's a abstract art, art glass, cobalt blue, bud vase. At first I thought it was a oil diffuser, but I don't think so now. There's a lot of room in there. All right, and then there was a few people asking about the baby photo by Charlotte Becker. We have that listed for $12. A little bit of stain on the bottom corner. And then I found this a while ago. It was just sitting in our, um, what people would call a death pile. Our, our death pile isn't that large. But this is a oil on... I have no idea what kind of um, board that is on a board. You can kind of hear it on wood, I guess. The frame is plastic, but look at all the detail. My grandma actually had a painting similar to this, much larger, and it was a print. I paid $2. I just noticed the sticker on the back. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure how much I could get for that. I'm thinking like 15, 15 to 20. All right, and so we finally found a treasure craft vase. This looks like it'd be, um, Southwestern Native American. So you see that blue, um, dot right there? Stone, I guess. It's not a stone, it's ceramic. But someone glued that back in. And on this side, I was trying to scrape off the glue, and it popped out, and now I can't find it. I was just going to glue it back in. The same with this, because you can see the yellow glue around it. I want it to look a little bit nicer. So I'm going to be spending some time searching for it, because it's bugging me. <laughs> I don't know if it would bug anybody else, but how much should we spend on that... I believe we spent $6. I'm, we have it written down. But I'm sad that that's missing now. Because I love the blue on it. I wish it was real turquoise. Alright, so here's a, another item that I think I'm going to do as an auction. A Fenton Milk Glass Hobnail Fan Vase. And it has the ruffle. I know a lot of our viewers, they like milk glass. So I thought this would be perfect. I just got to clean it. That's why it's not listed yet. I'm going to do that now. So we're doing this as an auction on our eBay store. The Polish Pottery. And the Art Glass Votive. That's going to look pretty with a candle or a, a plastic um, tea light. Um, so our sales last week were a tad bit slow, which I think is normal for around this time. So that was expected. Um, so that's why we're doing an auction. I might do, we might do an auction every week. I don't know. We'll have to see how this goes. And if it does pretty good, then we'll do it every week. Um, we sold that Norway bowl as an auction. That went up to $15. I spent $4, which is about $9, $8, $9 profit. So I'm happy about that. Okay, I think that is it for tonight. Make sure you check out our eBay store. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everybody next time. Bye.